All right, real quick, YouTube. So I hope some of these tow truck guy come across the video, right? Now, like a semi truck tow truck, like a regular small car tow truck. There are people that don't know how to make money, and I think um, I just want to release the information. I never get to use a tow truck when it comes to just a uh, personal vehicle, right? But I call a few guys today. There's two guys that told me, text me the address, and I give you the price. Keep in mind, there are a lot of tow truck in the city. I live here in Juliet. There's tow truck in Juliet, Plainfield, Romeoville, Bolingbroke. There's tow truck everywhere. So when a customer call you, that the Google search they come across your number and they call you, do not tell them. Text me the address and I give you the price. You got a smartphone, 24. Why you have the customer over the phone, guys? Punch in the address. If the customer, hey, do you have the pickup address? Yes. Okay. Where's the pickup address? What's the drop of address? I was surprised. Two guys told me, you know, the third guy, he punched in the address and he gave me the price. And I'm waiting for him to come pick up my car. My wife, Toyota Highlander, the, the water pump, gave up and it started leaking antifreeze everywhere. So I told her to leave it here and I came to pick up up and I took her home. So I'm bike to get the vehicle towed to my house in my garage because I already ordered the water pump. I honestly ordered that two days ago. It came in yesterday. And so that happened when she came to get some grocery. That's the vehicle across the street, right? So do not tell the customer, text me the address because that customer don't have time to text you, like find a number separate, text you, whatever. Especially at this moment, it's not in an emergency to me. I can leave this car sitting here all day. If you have a car, maybe it broke down on the side of the road, that's a you know emergency situation. So to me, if you're making business and a customer come across your number and give you a call, find a way to hold on to that customer if you want to make money. And I feel like if you telling the customer, text me the address, it's like you're pushing the customer away because that customer don't have time to text you the address. A lot of people these days are very lazy, including myself, to even text somebody or whatever. So if I take the time to call you, I want you to do some work if you want to make the money. I'm the one cutting the check out here. Unless if you really don't care about the money, you're the type of person who just, oh, I have a tow truck business. And as we speak right now, maybe you're watching Netflix and you don't have time to come over the road to make money. So you're waiting to finish your Netflix episode, right? That's the only reason you will tell somebody to text you an address. So at the end of the day, as a business owner myself, I own a trucking business. I want to be able to educate some of you guys out there. This is my point of view, okay? If a customer get hold of your phone and call you, do whatever it takes, do whatever it takes to hold on to that customer do not let that customer hang up the phone unless if the customer find that your price is very very high or something but even though though even if your price is high you want to convince the customer and hold on to that money because at the end of the day i'd rather make him little money than nothing at all this is a boy from africa man i just wanted to throw something out there i hope some of you guys will use this information to grow your business right i will see you in the next one peace and love